Hey there guys, today is one of my most requested videos, how to make a Millipede survival paracord bracelet with a buckle. Now I figured this out quite a while ago, but just haven't had the time to make the video. Um, I tried to work on stuff with quick deployment, uh, stuff like that. It's not going to be as quick as the regular knot. But it's still way quicker than a regular Cobra with a buckle. So this is how you deploy it. You have one side that is just flipped over. So you take it like this. And then the other one too. Just this black one and you can do it at the same time but since I'm behind the camera it's harder to do both at the same time take it out of the buckle then you pull your one buckle down here And there you go, you have your um, cord ready to use. All you need to do is just, of course you would have these burned off. You just need to t untie these. And now you have your cord ready to use. Way quicker than a uh, regular Cobra with a buckle, but still not as quick as the regular just knot. So now, I guess I'll show you guys how to make it. Um, I hope you know how to just do the knot already because I don't really feel like going over it again, but I guess I will. So you just, I've, I've been requested to show how to, um, like, what do you say, measure your wrist, but it's kind of hard to do that text message what you want to do is just take your um, cord and just go over it to go over your wrist two times and then that'll be your center cord for your wrist uh, and then you want to just add a whole bunch of cord on the end of that that you should cut off 20 feet or say 18 feet because 18 feet is the common length of somebody's wrist for the millipede. Um, but what you do now is you just go ahead and proceed like the regular knotted uh, millipede. You go ahead double up your length. So if you want your wrist to be this big, that's how big your wrist will be. And then you want to make sure you leave a little um, at the end so you can tie it off to one of the end buckles. So you want to make a slip knot just like so. You take the smaller end and put it through. So when you pull this will be the end attached and then you'll pull, pull the clip from this one. So that's your wrist size right here. Then you want to do the same to the other cord. Then you want to match them up. And they're almost the same, so just pull through. There we go, they look the same. Just for quick demos, they're about the same. Then what you do is you just proceed with um, tying it off regularly, or just tying it regularly. So I got my little device here, and I just put them on each other, like so. I'll show you when I have it on here. 
Oh, there goes my light. So as you see, I just have it on this hook. And then I tie them off to each other. So all I did was just, I just tied it off to this screw right here. Then you proceed with your regular tying of the millipede. So you go over and then under. And just do that. Then you do over, under on the same one. I mean on the opposite one. And you push down. Now since you did over under the first time you go now you go under the cord and then through. Pull tighten. Push down. Under through. Now you go over since you just went under. over and then here's another little trick you see that this cord is pointing upwards you want to go opposite of that so, so since the cord is pointing upwards you go under the bracelet this one is pointing up you go under and push everything down. It's pointing downwards, you go over. And there goes another text message. It's pointing down, you go over. Okay, so I have finished a little test bracelet as you can see just for you guys you want to push everything down and that's what it looks like before you put the buckles on so now that you put the buckles on also make sure that you have um, plenty of loop up here to put one of your buckles on and don't pull any through yet you want to untie down here if you have it on the regular, however you make it. Just untie it. And then, so, you wanna, the first buckle you wanna put on in, is the loop buckle. So on the loop buckle, you want to go from the top, so as you see I have the male part, I'm going to go from the top down through a slot and then it will look like this when you're doing it. Now you can get uh, an extra, you can get an extra piece of cord um, like, like one of the inside of the cords to help you pull through but right now I'm too lazy to do that. So I pull one through. And then you want to open up that the one that you just pulled through. And pull, put the other one right through there. So it looks like this. Just like this, so far. Then after you have it like this, you put the loop over the clip. And then pull down. Just wiggle it down. Oh, don't worry, it might look crappy right now, but we'll fix it. So it will look like this. Now what you want to do is pull these cords down here through. 
So we'll tighten the, this top up. And then just keep wiggling this clip to get the cord tight, tighter and tighter. And keep pulling through. There goes my light again. Ow! Fuck, that's hot. So after a while, your clip will start looking like this. Now you can arrange however you want these colors, if they're different colors or whatever. <clears throat> but then you will need to tighten up the back. So how you do that is you just pull, simply follow the cord through and then pull down here. So for this one, I just follow the orange through. So it goes around here. And then pull through. And then so now my orange is tight. You want to do that with your black. Or whatever else, whatever other color you have. Sorry if I'm all frame. It's pretty. Let's see if I can zoom out. There we go. Pull through. So there we go. Made it tighter. And then you just want to keep doing that until it gets really tight. But you want to leave some room so you can undo it if an emergency happens. Then for the uh, extras down here, you take this clip. I'm using the female clip. And you want to make sure that you line it up properly so the clips line up. And it's not like this. It's like this. So all you do is you just then take your each separate cord, put it through, So it looks something like this. Then you take your wrist and put it like so and then clip the clips together so you know approximately how tight you need your bracelet to be. After you've done that, you take your end and then go through here. So you have it going out the top and you take it through just like so and then right back through the loop that you just made just like that and then you want to tighten it down to however your wrist size is so just for this I'll just tighten it down to here Then you pull through, just pull the string, then keep tightening however you want it to fit your wrist. Then you do the same with the orange. So you put it just like this, and then put it through the loop that you just made. And then keep tightening down. And then of course, you would test fit it, just like so, see if it fits, which of course this doesn't because it's like three inches or half a foot, whatever, long. 
make sure you have the parts connect together well and of course you'll just tighten these down snip them and then burn them same with this side and then again I'll just deploy it for you guys because there's no point in me having this just undo and you also want to make sure that you pre-shrink your cord before you do this or else you will not be able to get this undone probably guaranteed you will not be able to how you pre-shrink is you just soak it in water let it dry and that's it that's my camera cut out there but I untied it um, so if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask um, I will most likely answer them uh, you can leave them in the comment or PM me and I will be glad to answer them so hopefully you guys get how to do this and spread around the fast deploying millipede survival paracord bracelet and uh, hopefully you have a nice day and I will see you again